the captain's armband tonight for Celtic. He'll switch in the second half to lead out Manchester United. And his children here with him, wife and family, have obviously attended this very important occasion. A man who was reluctant initially to have a testimonial match, but then was prevailed upon to do so. And I think when he walks out here this evening, he realised that was a very good decision. So Roy Keane and his children make the long walk up the famous tunnel at Old Trafford. That's something you say very often about Roy Keane. He doesn't get emotional about things, but with his family there and this amount of crowd here tonight, it's just it's an unbelievable scenario. But you know, I think still think there's going to be a competitive edge to the game. He wouldn't want it any other way. So the guard of honour there, the two sides lining up to allow Roy Keane to take his bow in the middle of the field. Huge contingent of Celtic supporters. Remarkable attendance. 23,000 here. Takes the acclaim, his five children with him, and that will mean a great deal to him, I'm sure. I just wonder what they make of that. Well, the entire stadium united in its admiration for the one of football's greatest players of the modern era. Just checking the Manchester United formation first, Frank. Yeah, so I think that um, the big surprise is PK playing in midfield. But that's it, that position is the one that Manchester United are trying to fill. Obviously, since Roy Keane's departure, Ryan Giggs has been ex extremely effective in that position since he, took, since he went in there. But they need a combative midfield player. PK is that, but he's only a young player, he's only just turning 19. But he's got a nice touch on the ball. And I think that they're probably having a look over these next few months and into next season if they don't find somebody to replace uh, Roy Keane or John O'Shea in that midfield position. PK could be the man. And the Celtic formation, a very familiar one. No surprises there. Petrov may push for it, double central area. Sean Maloney could push forward. Yeah, it'll be uh, interesting to see whether they, they push on to Roy Keane and try and stop it from starting the, starting the moves. Obviously, Neil Lennon, similar sort of player. Keeps the ball, keeps it nice and simple. And um, I think with the competitive edge, it will be interesting to see how uh, Hartson and Zuraski come up against the two. United centre half. Collected now by Giggs. This stadium packed full of international footballers for this match. There's one of them, Patrick Sevra, with the ambitious long range effort, which doesn't trouble after Borch. Yeah, this, uh, this player, Everett, he hasn't really played enough games to really make an assessment. I've got a feeling that he could be a, a wide left player in the midfield rather than a left back. He's very, very quick. Rossi's layoff now Ronaldo. Space over the far side for Evra. Petrov is sucked inside into that uh, centre midfield area. Having space on the far side for Manchester United. No gigs. That's for Rossi. Brilliant save by Boric. But what a reminder there to Stephen McManus of the quality of strikers at this level. Well, oh, this is a fantastic cross in. What a good movement by Rossi ahead of the defender. That is a fantastic save. He can have seen that four yards away. Lennon in quickly on Giggs. Good challenge. This is Petrov. Now Hartson. Support comes from Keane. Maloney now attacking PK. Foul there coming inside. That's a free kick to Celtic and a very good opportunity for the set piece expert Maloney. Yeah, very positive there. Young PK is a normally plays centre back for the reserve team, and uh, I think he's just finding it a little bit difficult in the air, especially with people are running at him. But he's still learning the game. Uh, real opportunity, as you say, here for the Celtic. Well, Maloney, extremely good in this situation. Good attempt on his goal, and he's done just that. That's a fine save by Harold, and it had to be. Brilliant attempt by Maloney. Well, he's got it up and over the wall, going in the top corner. And the goalkeeper was scrambling just to get there. Brilliant effort. 
Kept too low there by Telford, but it's back in Glennon, still promising for Celtic. Keane calls for the ball in the middle. Fine effort there by Roy Keane, how he'd have enjoyed that in these circumstances. Not quite his distance, <laughs> a little bit outside, but they expect Roy to score the goal from, but he was encouraged by the crowd. Good, uh, good shot, I don't think he was going to beat Howard with that one, but I don't think he enjoyed it. Keane sending Suraski away, Howard changed his mind, almost caught out there. Well, he seemed to be in charge of the whole situation, Howard then checked out for a moment, and that made life difficult. Pretty much space. This is the Tim Howard's let off. Yeah, he backs off and then decides that he's going to go for it. And he it was very fortunate Ratsky wasn't onto a quicker because it would have been an easy chance for him. So Alec Fergus is saying he would be in the winning team in the second half before the game. And he will have that opportunity now. It's half time at Old Trafford. The Roy Keane testimonial. No goals, but some very good football and display for the half time score. Manchester United nil, Celtic nil. If you do find somebody of a similar ilk, you're going to pay, I don't know, 15, 20, when you consider Chelsea paid 24 million for Didier Drogba, as you see Roy Keane Roy coming out in the Manchester United shirt. Sir Alex Ferguson is still trying to replace him, and, and he's finding it one of the most difficult positions in his team to replace, and I think we all understand the problem he's got with that. Second half is coming up, with our commentators from the Manchester United striker, Frank Stapleton and Jock Brown. Thank you, Rob. Well, a glimpse around the United players for a second. I will tell you that uh, there are significant changes. Paul Scholes is out there. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer is out there. Gary Neville is out. Mikael Silvestre. A number of significant changes. And what a welcome for Paul Scholes and for this man, Solskjaer. What a tough time he's had, but his standing is so high that he has been given a new contract. Stay on longer despite missing over two years to injury, Frank. Yeah, it's a phenomenal comeback. And um, he was playing in the reserves this season and was doing very, very well. And unfortunately, he ended up getting a, his jaw cracked in a collision, I think, with Hugo Ekiog in the reserves against Middlesbrough. Um, right out of the blue. Now 37 years old, Dion Dublin as Richardson. He's held up there by McManus. Richardson again. Outside him is Giggs. Measured ball across the face of goal and no taker for Manchester United. Excellent ball across the face of the six-yard box. Yeah, Richardson just slips the ball here, and I think he was expecting Solskjaer to come in on that back post. He didn't quite get there in time, and just ran away from him. I think Ryan Giggs disappointed with his delivery as well. I don't think Roy Keane sees the funny side of that too much. Twelve and a half years of outstanding service to Manchester United from Roy Keane. Remarkable statistics too. Played 479 competitive matches, scored 51 goals, 17 trophies, including seven new championships and four FA Cups. Chance here for Giggs. That's through for Ronaldo, he's onside. Chance here for United. 1-0 to Manchester United. Ronaldo the scorer. What a pass this is from Ryan Giggs. Outside of his left foot, spinning ball. Ronaldo finds his run of reflection. Beautiful touch. Left back's keeping him outside. Outside, centre back. Through the goalkeeper's legs. What a ball that is. First touch takes it there. Second one's in the net. That's deadly finishing this by the Portuguese striker. Or winger rather, but uh, what a fine job he did there. Appreciation shown by Roy Keane. But obviously, since Celtic have gone a goal down, maybe that's why. That's good play, Zaraski and Dublin together. Here's Zaraski with a shooting chance. Didn't really catch that, and Petro is furious because he was in space on the right-hand side of the box. Now Zaraski's had a mouthful there from Petro. Well, this is probably the best chance they've got. I think he's in here, he could have used the ball again. Decides to have a shot. And so with the bar. Right to the far post it goes. Headed on there as far as Pearson. Here's Thompson again. 
Better delivery at Dublin! What a save! Van der Sar off down the side of the bar. Here's Dublin again. Oh, he's done well once more. Ball still in play. And this time Van der Sar makes the catch. What an attempt by Dublin, and he looks at Andrew Van der Sar. Just how did you manage that? Well, I don't think he knew very much about it. He just stuck his hand up. And it, uh, I don't think he expected that, that the ball was going to come to him and just shoved his hands up as the goalkeeper due to react. And it's gone on to the bar and he's knocked his, uh, his hand back. Well, here's Giggs over the free kick. So Roy Keane had a little over ten minutes left in the United shot. And that away was a good one there by Mulgrew. Chance here. And this is Ronaldo offside. What counts? Frustration. Delivery there from Solskjaer, the flag was up instantly. Well, Solskjaer, who wasn't up, ah, what's happened? He's become active now. He's in an offside position. Well challenged by Vidic, I think it's a good match, actually, for United defence. Well, he's, he's not, uh, not pulled out of anything. He's a very aggressive player. Well beaten here by Pearson, though. Chance this time for Dublin, he's missed it. Well, great play by Pearson, a feature of his plays his running power from midfield and this time it almost paid off yeah great body body strength there picked out the man the goalkeeper going the wrong way it's only got to be on the target very very strong but Pearson great layback first time touch and he's not to pass the post this stoppage time if there's going to be any of that and there isn't going to be much I don't think the referee brings the match to an end Manchester United have won the game, that's not what this is about though, it's about the appreciation of a real legend for Manchester United in the form of Roy Keane. He takes the acclaim now. So like Ferguson was right, he said he'd be the winning side in the second half, and that's how it's turned out. Well, you just look at yeah, the appreciation by all the supporters and the players, great respect. And he's had a wonderful career international level as well there has been some ups and downs some a lot of controversies the one thing you can never ever doubt is his commitment on a football pitch 66 caps for the republic of ireland losing out in the 2002 world cup after that clash with mick mccarthy but applause all around the stadium and it's all for one man roy Keane. well the Shuts have been exchanged for the most part. Roy Keane will keep both, I've no doubt. So Alec Ferguson is now out there, showing his appreciation. And it's been a night to remember in the Theatre of Dreams, a night which Roy Keane will never forget. The final score is not good matter. It was Manchester United 1, Celtic 0. Yes, yeah, a special night for a special player, Roy Keane, in conversation with... Sir Alec Ferguson.